Okay, we're going to look at the logic for the new and improved guessing game. We're using compound statements to see if we, if we, if we can evaluate two expressions with one. So we're going to use compound and and compound or. So initi to initialize things, we'll initialize both our variables and we'll store a random number in our number to guess. We're going to get the guess from the user and this is where we're going to use a compound or statement. If guess is less than zero or if it's greater than 100, it's going to be out of bounds and will display an out of range message. Remember with the or statement, only one half of the equation has to be true. If either part is true, the whole of the equation acts as true, the message will display and you'll get the guess from the user again. If it's false, then the, then the user guessed a number that was in the range between 1 and 100. And the next step is to check, did the guess match the number 2 guess? If that's true, you'll display congratulations. Otherwise, you will go into our compound statements over here. This is a nested if. There are four options. We are checking to see if the number that was guessed is too high or too low. We're also going to give the user additional feedback if they're hot or if they're cold. If they're hot, they're within 10 of the number that they were supposed to guess. So we check that using a compound and statement. You just need one of these. I've got a typo there. So you're going to check to see if guess, if the number to guess is less than guess and if guess minus the number to guess, which will give us a positive number, is less than 11. So 10 is the top one that would be accepted because 10 is less than 11. If that is the case, you're going to display to the user that they guess too high, but they're hot, they're close. Else, they're going to check to see if the guess, number to guess, is less than guess, and they're going to subtract number to guess from guess, and it's greater than 10, and you're going to display that it's too high and that they're cold, they're farther away. If neither of those are true, we're going to check to see if the number to guess is greater than the guess, and if the number to guess minus guess is less than 11. This is going to see if the user has guessed too low, and if they're within 10, it's considered hot. The remaining option means that it would be that they are hot, more than 10 away and too low. So they would display that the guess is too low and it's cold. So this represents a nested if. Each one has a compound operator and with and both sides, both parts of the equation need to be true for it to evaluate to true.